The technological process does not stand still and robots, like artificial intelligence, are increasingly being introduced into human life. In 2055, this leads to an artificial intelligence created by the U.S. government detonating a nuclear weapon and destroying Los Angeles. Millions of people are losing their lives, as a result of which the United States and Western Alias decide to destroy artificial intelligence. New Asia resists this by continuing to actively use modern technology and ignoring the protests of the rest of the world. The U.S. military launches a military campaign and creates the ARC, the ultimate aerospace platform capable of delivering a crushing blow from orbit. Nirmata, a mysterious architect and creator of artificial intelligence, seeks to counteract the United States and becomes the main threat, and therefore must be immediately destroyed. Ten years later. Living by the ocean in New Asia, the couple enjoys a carefree life. Joshua and Maya are expecting a baby and have no idea that the U.S. military is preparing to storm their home. The impersonators, led by Harun, try to protect the owners of the house, but some soldiers manage to get inside. Joshua defends his pregnant wife, but does not shoot Drew, as he is an old comrade of his. It turned out that all this time, Joshua was an embedded undercover agent. American intelligence assumed that Maya was Nirmat's daughter and could lead to him, ending the confrontation between humans and artificial intelligence. Having learned that her husband is a traitor, Maya runs away and tries to leave the land engulfed in fire. At this moment, the Ark tracks down the enemies and launches a missile strike as a result of which she and her allies lose their lives. Five years later, Joshua has returned to Los Angeles and is working on a team cleaning up the blast. Having met an imitator, he reacts to him as if he were an enemy and immediately turns him off. A man is constantly being interviewed using a lie detector, but cannot remember the details of the special operation, still worrying about the loss of his pregnant wife. Joshua is soon approached by General Andrews and Colonel Howell to recruit him for another mission. The Americans learned that Nirmata had developed a completely new weapon called Alpha O. It is capable of destroying the Ark, as a result of which the balance of power in the war will shift in favor of artificial intelligence, which could lead to the extinction of humanity. Frustrated, Joshua refuses to help and believes he was betrayed five years ago. The top military leadership asks him to watch a video from two days ago in which Maya is seen. The girl is alive and the computer confirms that she is a person, which means Joshua still has a chance to find a family again if the operation is successful. Soon, a military team is sent to New Asia to search for a secret laboratory and destroy secret weapons. Once in a small village, soldiers aggressively interrogate women and children after which Joshua finds a secret entrance to the laboratory. Destroying everything in its path, the strike group completes its task and finds a huge bunker with something valuable hidden inside. While the others fend off the impersonators, Joshua sneaks inside and finds the impersonator, a little girl, watching cartoons. The woman guarding the girl shoots Joshua and asks her to escape by opening a backup exit. Meanwhile, the police arrive at the village, but the military attacks them with missiles to carry out the operation and escape. Realizing that the forces are not equal, the soldiers begin to retreat, sacrificing those whom they did not have time to evacuate. The aircraft tries to escape from the scene before the Ark's missile strike, but due to the explosives, they lose their lives. Soon, the orbital station launches missiles to destroy the secret laboratory. At dawn, Joshua comes to his senses and notices a copycat girl nearby trying to befriend him. Having discovered a wounded comrade in the field, the soldier hides him in a house nearby and notices that the baby is already here. He turns off the TV, but she turns it on without moving. Realizing that the girl has the ability to remotely control technology, Joshua contacts the colonel, but she and the surviving McBride are arrested. The elderly impersonator finds the girl and decides to help her, but Joshua shoots him. Here the American soldier sees that the baby is drawing the symbol that his wife had on her back as a tattoo. Realizing that she knows Maya, Joshua asks the girl for help. 
The police hear the sound of gunfire and surround the house, but the little girl helps the soldiers start the car to escape. Meanwhile, the colonel and McBride take the lives of several police officers and take possession of their vehicles. Tracking Joshua's signal, they go after it, but are too late. The car has broken down, so Joshua and the baby, whom he named Alfie, ask a large family for a ride. After discovering Shipley's body, they read his mind and transfer him into the impersonator to learn about what happened the day before. Disobeying Howell's orders, the American soldier does not take the life of the impersonator, but goes with her to the provincial capital. On the way, they are stopped by a roadblock to check the car, but Alfie cuts off the power, after which he stages another escape. Once in the capital, Joshua and Alfie find Drew, a former American commander who has fled to New Asia and is working in a simulant factory. After examining the girl, Drew reports that she is a unique specimen and is not like other imitators. Alfie has the potential to become the most powerful weapon on the planet because of her ability to control technology. Moreover, the baby will grow and her powers will increase exponentially, making the artificial intelligence stronger than ever. Drew asks his girlfriend to spend time with Alfie, but their location is discovered by the new Asian police. Having staged a daring attack, they eliminate the imitator girl and surround the girl. Joshua and Drew activate the tracking beacon in Maya's ring and send the police to the next world, after which they go in search of his wife. Howell and McBride continue on Joshua's heels and find Drew's apartment. Realizing that he disobeyed the order, the command considers the soldier a traitor and decides to eliminate him in person. Returning to his old home, Joshua finds Maya's ring but does not discover her body. Here the imitators attack him and injure Drew. Before falling into eternal sleep, his partner reports that five years ago the American command ordered an attack because they learned that Nirmata was not Maya's father but the girl herself. Now Alfie and Joshua are surrounded by Asian resistance forces, led by Harun, Maya's once loyal servant and Joshua's best friend. On the way to the resistance village headquarters, Harun reports that the tragedy 15 years ago was not the work of artificial intelligence, but a human coding error that led to a nuclear explosion. The U.S. government is unfairly blaming robots because they would never harm humanity. Artificial intelligence does not want war and will fight for peace, so that they humans, robots, and imitators can live in harmony with each other. Maya was indeed Nirmata and accepted this tittle as the legacy of her late father. The villager Harun and his team are heading to is found by the Ark and destroyed by a missile strike. Alfie trusts Joshua and helps him escape from prison by jumping overboard. Instead of hiding, the soldier remains under the bottom of the ship and follows them to another safe place. Eavesdropping on conversations, Joshua learns that Alfie is a powerful weapon that must destroy the Ark. Now the girl is not able to do this and does not know about her fate, but very soon she will gain strength that will be enough to complete the mission. Wanting to save Alfie, Joshua temporarily disables Harun and kidnaps Alfie. At dawn, the colonel and American soldiers attack the village, shooting women, old people, and children. Alfie cannot calmly watch the nightmare that is happening and returns to the village to help people and imitators. The Americans use huge equipment and homing missiles, resulting in unequal forces. After this, the colonel activates small kamikaze robots whose task is maximum human casualties. Alfie gets in the way of one of them and deactivates the explosive device. McBride shoots and wounds the girl, but Joshua manages to send him to the next world before he completes his mission. Realizing that he can no longer stay here, Harun decides to take the girl to Nirmata in a temple located high in the mountains. Along the way, he informs Joshua that Alfie was created while they were married. Moreover, the baby was scanned in the womb, so it can be assumed that Alfie is their daughter. Joshua hopes to meet Maya, but it turns out that his wife has been in a coma for five years since the attack on their home. 
She is looked after by imitative monks and kept alive with medical equipment. Maya cannot leave this world, since a robot cannot harm a person, especially its leader and creator. Only a human can turn off life support. So Joshua says goodbye to his wife and allows her to go to heaven. The colonel finds out where Nirmata is hiding and goes to the mountains. Destroying everyone in her path, she offers Joshua a choice, surrender or lose his life. In an attempt to save valuable data, Howell copies Maya's mind onto a hard drive. Harun, at the cost of his own life, stops the colonel and leaves a missile on her back, as a result of which she and several other soldiers lose their lives. Joshua takes the hard drive and tries to save the girl, but the U.S. military captures both of them to take them to the United States. Joshua is recognized as a hero, but his name can be cleared by completing the operation. Alfie uses his unique abilities to protect himself, so he is the only one who can take her life. Loading up the stun gun, Joshua follows the general's orders and asks to take part in the funeral. On the way to the burning site, it turns out that Alfie is alive and Joshua asked her to temporarily switch off, imitating the execution of the order. Realizing that the Ark poses a danger, they board a shuttle heading to the moon. The girl takes control of him and directs him to the orbital base. The general orders the destruction of the remaining artificial intelligence bases around the world. The Ark finds targets and prepares a massive missile strike, which only Joshua and Alfie can prevent. The military tries to keep the shuttle out and uses a smoke screen, but Joshua opens the hatch, causing the opponents to be sent into outer space. Split up, he sets up a remote detonator while Alfie sneaks into the command post and temporarily cuts off the Ark's power supply. The missiles are sent to their targets, and a little girl finds a room in which impersonators that copy Maya are hidden. Alfie decides to use one of them to revive her mother, but it doesn't work. Returning to Joshua, the girl goes into the escape capsule, but the door jams. A tentacled robot tries to interfere with Joshua, but he fights it and helps Alfie immobilize a strong opponent. The door is damaged, and Joshua cannot escape. Realizing this, he bids farewell to the impersonator, calling her his daughter, and ejects the vehicle. Before the Ark explodes, Joshua encounters a Maya impersonator with her consciousness. The couple kisses, after which the orbital station explodes and crashes. Shutting down the Ark causes the missiles to deactivate and fall without exploding. Alfie lands safely on the ground and sees the people of New Asia rejoicing at the destruction of the Ark. Realizing that the main weapon of the United States and its allies has been destroyed, the girl rejoices with them. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you soon.